Oh, go on, let's talk about we. <laughs> you're very, <laughs> you're very, <laughs> oh, we came in right at the, the, the best moment there, didn't we, Penny? You're very welcome back to the Daily Rundown with me, Fiona Fox. <laughs> it's the last section. Oh, Penny, have you lost it now? Is that it? <laughs> Sorry, the wheels have come off finally, uh, which is good timing because we are about to look at the slightly more unusual stories. I've been making news today. And the good thing about these is I don't know what they are. So it's equally shocking. Exactly. Is that a good thing? We don't know what they are, but we can talk about anything. We can talk about anything that's on the audio queue. Okay. Just so <laughs> that's clear. Yes. But uh, and if they're not so interesting, we're, we're going to blame uh, our producer, Emmy. Sorry, Emmy. Right, robots. It's robots again. There's a week doesn't go by when we have a story about robots, and we don't have a story about robots, rather. They're being programmed to feel pain this time, and they're going to react to it like humans do, apparently. <laughs> the new technology allows the machines to mock human conditions in a futuristic way. What did I just say? It's Terminator. I say this I, I, once a week. It's coming. Uh, Skynet, Armageddon. Robots are being programmed to feel pain and react to it just like humans do. The incredible advance sees an artificial robot nervous system being trained to react to pain messages to save themselves from danger. They believe that similar motivations when programmed in robots could help them save their tech from damage. What do you think Ooh. of that? That's, is that... I think it's scary. That, that, I that, uh, that do, you know, I, do you know, I agree with you. I find that slightly scary as well. Oh, yeah. Because, because I know robots do just their environment, don't they? Like they, you know, they bump into walls and they move away from it, or they see things in the What road. kind of robots are you talking but about now? T I'm film think, robots? Or are you talking about those little vacuums? I'm talking about vacuum kids. Yeah, yeah, I had we, vacuum kids in my head. Yeah, we got one of those. We got yeah. one of those. Does it work? You sent it back because it was a bit expensive, and we got it um, uh, as a bit of a trial, yeah. to be honest. But we did it. It cleaned, you know, the floor. We yeah. left it going for the whole night. Yeah. We went in, and I felt a bit sorry for him. And oh, the yeah. brand name is actually cute. I'm not going to say what it was, but like it's it's along the lines of. Um, Cute robot. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's a cute name, yeah. like a like a Disney character. Like Mrs. Or something. No, yeah. no, even cuter, you know, like huh. yeah, I don't know, Bimbo or something like right, that. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it went right, cleaned it cleaned up the whole uh, upstairs. And I was like, yeah, it is really good. But you know, it was quite expensive. I'm kind of like, I feel like I could have just done this with the vacuum. But it gets under stuff, obviously, like it the, does the really couch, it. you know, yeah. like this kind of a gap. That big layer. But yeah, most sorry, most importantly, when it bumps into a wall, it goes, what? Yeah, exactly. Turns it turns away from it, yes. Did you so, one? No, I don't, no, no. I was thinking about it. I knew somebody who bought uh, one to cut their lawn. Oh, God, it. It no. Just cut lawn. Blades, Blades, no way. yeah, robots no. do on that. No, no, exactly. no, no, no. That's taken too but, far. But it, it's something fundamentally human about pain, isn't it? Mm. Oh, the, yes. Because pain is well, an absolutely human, enormously, well, living, well. it's guess. enormously yeah. essential feeling we have. It's essential. Because I, I deal with patients sometimes who lose the sensation of pain. So, for example, they've had a nervous mm. problem in their leg and they lose pain in their leg. And then before you know it, within a couple of years, their joints are knackered, their muscles are twisted. Because they didn't know a, that they were damaged. Because they don't know doing it. They, they, get a, they get like a safety pin or a drawing pin in the bottom of their foot. They don't know if it's there. Mm. It turns gammy. Oh, you know, I mean, pain is really, really important. It's an essential mm -hmm. characteristic of being alive. Mm. And therefore, this is one step further to robots becoming alive. It's scary, isn't it? Yeah. It's scary. What do you think, Penny? Would you like, a, would you like a robot going around feeling pain? What, what kind of pain are we talking about? Well, is the next step like emotional pain? Like, can we hurt his feelings? Is that, is that what the next yeah. step is? That's what you would think. Because if, if a robot stuff. went, ooh. Yeah, if you said, you, think, you, oh, missed you, a bit. you missed a bit on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because when it says program to feel pain, it doesn't mean they'll feel pain. It means they'll react as if they react feel. React to sharp objects. Or flames. Yeah, but it they acid. Won't, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be more, actually, you'd be expecting, I guess, to feel that it's in a dangerous situation or they'll, they'll start going, you know, emergency, yeah. emergency to themselves or something like what? this. Emergency or something like this. I'm you not, could do the voiceover be, for them. They'll all be American, nice. apparently. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I, I've Except seen too many films. Except the ones in Japan. Actually, I'm still trying to get my head around the whole thing of robots. I mean, this... The, oh, oh no, come on, Penny. Robots have been around a long time. You need to get your head around that. <laughs> but so, but are they I, have I? Because are they in my life? <laughs> are they in my life? Have I got robots that I don't call robots that I don't think of as robots? Well, I guess that whatever's checking your boiler is probably some kind of robot. Yeah. Robot. And your iPhone You're is eaten. towards is a robot, that, isn't it? It's a computer. Is a computer a robot? Well, it's, 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 it, it enhances your because life, Because it's the matter-of-fact it? way they says, robots are now being, as if we're all surrounded by them. Oh, yeah, these robots that I've had for years, <laughs> they're now going to be programmed to feel pain. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so Archie, we're going to put a what, neuro system what, in. What, what, what's it all right for a robot to do, though? I mean, robots, uh, teach, what do you mean? teach your children, look after babies. Oh, and when we get to, I mean, are we at that point? <laughs> you need to see, you need some jobs that nobody wants to do, like changing nappies. How about robots to change nappies? Well, they told no. I mean, like, we were talking about drones last week, uh, or the week before, mm. and we were talking about that they're going to get, um, uh, Amazon are possibly going to have drones doing the deliveries. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, good God. God. So, I mean, they were saying, what else can they do? What else can drones do? And they're going to 
they're looking at um, developing them so that they can check infrastructure on buildings and that kind of thing. So there's a lot of there's a lot of work there that's going on. Yeah, that's useful. Fun. Yeah, but we do have people who do they that. They can so deliver drugs into prisons, can't they? That was in the news. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. So you drop a, drop a drone into a prison. Mobiles and that. Yeah, kind of yeah. yeah then, well, there's lots of mobiles in prisons anyway, isn't there? So all right, there's lots of drugs in there. Lots of things you can do with a drone. Yes, I mean, I guess, but this is <laughs> our... Just... These, these are robots that I guess are, that are in our everyday life now. Yes. I mean, they're not just going into sort of football pitches. You know, yeah, like it'd be great if drones could actually deliver your takeaways. Well, I, I mean, I guess if, they, if Amazon, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Because yeah, it's putting people out of like work. Your average pizzeria going to kind of True. invest in a drone. I don't know. That's the I don't know. Uh, but then, but then you need drone fixers. That's new jobs. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you, a robot yeah. drone fixer. Yes, but the person who can deliver a pizza may not necessarily want to no, train know, yeah, to be a. You know, it's yeah. putting people. I just out think it's work. exciting that something flies. We'll deliver a curry for you. Fine, but it is a robot, though. It's, yeah. still, it's still on that road, down, yeah. so on the way to... Uh, um, I call it Curry in a Hurry. Taking over. Mm. But are, we, are, hurry. We, are we heading for... What was that gorgeous, gorgeous film with the little robot that was left on Earth to clean up all our mess and everyone? Oh, no, Wally. Oh, Wally. 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 Is that, are we heading to Wally Land so that we all just sit around all day and do... Oh, we have no muscles. Mm. Oh, no muscle tone or something. Yeah, exactly. Because we didn't do anything. Yeah. That no, was we'd all play badminton thing. all day and things Would like that. Would we? Yeah. <laughs> Would we indeed, indeed, indeed. Let's go through one. Actually, we haven't got much time. Um, a pop-up rabbit cafe uh, has, has popped up, running pop-up. from June 5th to July the 11th, held at Chapel Market. Visitors to the event will be able to hang out with the bunnies while enjoying afternoon tea. And organisers explained that the rabbits are rescue animals and visitors will even have the chance to adopt them. Aww. Now, that's very cute because I know cat cafes have been kind of in the news over the last while. Have you not really? heard of them? Never heard of them. Never heard of them. Yeah, there there's, one, there's one. There's definitely, a few, definitely some in Japan. Cat cafe. Uh, definitely some, I'm sure there's one in San Francisco. Dog dinners. I'm sure there's one in Manchester, actually. Um, so there must be one in London, I guess. Wow. I'm, I'm making a lot of assumptions there. But there, cat cafes exist. I'll leave it at that. Okay. But uh, rabbits, rabbits are very, no, no, I was going to say, they're not they're more lovely. unpredictable than a cat, though, are they? Well, well I don't know. I... Would you be hanging around with a rabbit? Would that be something that you'd go to do You've to have a rabbit. tea? Uh, I've got you half share a shares in a rabbit. She's got um, half a rabbit. Oh! Well, it's kind of a rescue. So that's the thing. So it's not actually, it's not a cafe to kind of bring your rabbit to, unfortunately. You would kind of go there. But you could, no. if you wanted to, pick one up and bring them home to make friends. Yeah, which is wrong, you see. Yeah. So if it's the... <laughs> she said adamantly, because oh. rabbit, a lot of rabbits... Oh, Penny, I have to cut you off, I'm afraid, because we've run out of time, we're oh. gabbing. Oh. Penny MacDonald and Richard Bertrand. <laughs> Thank you very I'm much. I'm so sorry. <laughs> they were fabulous guests. We're back tomorrow for another daily rundown. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Penny. What's up in the room?